My turn will go by peeps. Our mission, should we watch till the end of this video, will have us exploring part of our electrical history throughout the island of Trinidad. More importantly, we will be trying Bumpy's barbecue along the way. Good luck, Agent Retrieve. What's up, my Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another episode of Trinbago Vibes. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am Rajiv. I show you everything Trinidad and Tobago. So on this one, we're doing a little road trip. So we're kicking it off in Port of Spain by Powagen before we head south to get some Bumpy's barbecue. But right now we're on Flamen Street as this is one of the first electric power producing plants in Trinidad and Tobago. Dating back to the late 1800s, early 1900s and upgraded throughout the years. These four stacks or towers are iconic landmarks here in our capital. However, the plant is currently being dismantled as it was decommissioned some time ago. But this year is an important part of our history for electricity on the island. So that was Powagen here in town, Port of Spain. End of an era. Now let's head south. As we take this ramp by Grand Bazaar in Bamboo. Alright, we're taking San Fernando Point 14 turn off, not Golconda. But we will be on the Golconda Connection Road, which will take us onto the Southern Main Road. Now, once you hit Mosquito Creek, there's currently roadworks going on. Uh, so this drive will be a little different in 2022, probably 2023. Who knows? We'll see. Anywho, onwards to Ari Perro, just before Rosilla, along the Southern Main Road, for Bumpy's Barbecue in this orange house here. Just got my order now, and it's to dress it with some garlic sauce and some more barbecue sauce. So this is it here. I mean, this I ordered a combo with fries but this is what you could also order this quarter chicken garlic bread and extra salad for 40 dollars but this is what the barbecue chicken looks like underneath all those fries you just saw so tiloxing talks you see i taking your advice i come and stop by bumpies on the way so with 45 dollars i got fries a garlic bread some salad and the chicken now for this I'm just gonna taste the chicken. Let me see Tiloxing talks. If it just, just talks only. Yeah. Barbecue is good. It being the best in the country or the best on this side. It's good, I'll admit that. But for, it, for me to say it's the best, I need to have a barbecue hopping. Now, if you think I should have that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, but it's pretty good. Now it's different from like Wally's. Wally's, I guess is more smoked and this one is like barbecue barbecue so you're getting the barbecue flavoring to be honest it's similar to barbecue hot right in san fernando at least to me but yeah so that's bumpy's barbecue right here in rosilac along the southern main road you can't miss it it's a big sign you'll see bumpy's it's just before wally's smokehouse so yeah oh if you didn't see my video for that check it out in the link below all right i'm gonna finish up this and then we're heading on So we came from Port of Spain and ended up in Rosilac for barbecue. Now we're heading to the east, to Toko. Check out this lighthouse monument at the Valencia roundabout. So we're passing through the back of Valencia here and then we'll be heading up Maturo and then Toko. Just past the Trini Nature Boys headquarters, TNB to the world! I'll leave that channel link in the description below. Caro, I would have stopped here, but I'm on a mission. So next time for sure, check them out guys. They're one of the best youth groups it have here on the island and they're doing everything all right onwards to toko at this junction in toko you can swing right to head to the lighthouse and one of the beaches but we're heading left to our final stop on this road trip. The weather today on this trip wasn't all that as a result of a tropical wave passing near the Caribbean. Well, the weather wasn't all that for the weekend. Life in the Caribbean. Started in the north, came down south, and finally ended up in the east at this beach. And why here? Well, ever wondered where Tobago gets its electricity from? Well, my peeps, there's an underwater cable from this substation here that's going straight to Milford's Bay in Tobago. So this is how Tobago is connected to Trinidad on the electric network. Now this bay here is beautiful though. And one day on Trinidad Vibes, we'll explore more of Milford's Bay. But for now, 
let's head back to the northeast coast of Trinidad. So at Mission Bay here, mission accomplished. Trying not to go out in the water. Shout out to Trini out and about family. I know they're somewhere around here, I'm not sure where. So big up them. Hope you learned a few things along the way, see a few things. The weather turned out to be okay. So please like, share, Bumpy's barbecue. Wild great. I still have to try more to call it the best. That's in my opinion. Don't hate on me all. And let me know in the comments below what you all think. One of these days we'll come back. Well, once beaches open and everything, we'll explore all the beaches here on the East Coast. Train Vega vibes. That's how we roll. That's how we do it. Hope you enjoyed this. Until the next one. My peeps, stay safe. I'll go on later. One more thing I forgot to mention. This road trip took us the entire day. So thank you if you made it to the end. And I'll see you in the next one.